Press it. I'm gonna try to meet Precious. I just picked her up last night. You can't, I don't know if you can really tell, but she's been shaved the entire length of her body. Mm -hmm. I know, maybe you can see the scars on her head. Scars on her legs. As you can see, she's had pups. In fact, I have one of the pups in the house. She has scars on her neck. You can't figure it out, Precious. She uses a fighting dog. It's fucking sick. It's fucking sad because she is sweet. She is a very sweet dog. But unfortunately, because of what they've done to her, she is dog aggressive. So I have to be very, very careful since I have other dogs when I bring them outside right now until I can really work with her. Well, she, she's pretty decent with other animals. Yeah. Ignoring my cat shadow. Her pup is mixed. In fact, the, uh, the individual I got her from was actually my brother-in-law, but he wasn't the one fighting her. Come on, precious. Come on here. Come on here. Good girl. In fact, uh, he was given her and her pup by a Hispanic kid. Uh, the kid's reason for them giving her away was that apparently she kept getting loose and running off and coming back pregnant. Well, <coughs> if, um, if you're being used for what she was, you know, I'd, I'd get loose and run off too, but, you know, I wouldn't come back. Apparently, though, the kid got her from his cousin. See that? That's the neck. And, uh, the, the kid actually, oh, hell, I guess he ain't really a kid. He's probably about 13, 14 years old. But, uh, they came down to my sister's house, actually, while I was sitting down there checking her out and evaluating her myself and seeing what she'd do. She took up pretty quickly with me and was actually being pretty defensive over me. Um, so I did get the chance to, to say something to them. Uh, but I did ask prior, you know, what's her temperament, you know, how is she around other animals? You can see her feet here. She does have a touch of uh, red mange, which looks like it's most likely just because of her pregnancy. Doesn't really look like it's for any other reason. She's wrapping me up here. Oh. oh, she's such a pretty girl. But, uh, they're like, oh yeah, she's good with other animals. Gotta get rid of the, uh, of the dogs. Unless they jump on her first. And, you know. Um, that's okay. Uh, yeah, she's good with people. So, I mean, I saw that for myself. People walking up, you know, I see her with my cat shadow. <laughs> Where you going, precious? Come here. Come here. Little piggy. Come here. Come here. I did get to tell them off and tell them what pieces of shit they were for fighting her and fighting their other dogs and, you uh, know, I mean, it seems like every pit that I come across is a, a fighter. Y'all remember my other dog, Onyx? Um, she, she was a, a former fighting dog. She became one of the best dogs I ever had. It's a shame that people do this to these dogs. Pitbulls are great dogs. They're the best companion you could ever have. It's not their fault. People are stupid. Punch the dude, not the breed. Pitbulls are not naturally aggressive toward people. But people make them that way. They're not naturally aggressive toward other dogs. But people make them that way. I, 
I was sitting there last night because I wasn't sure if I could handle taking her on because we don't exactly have what we normally do as far as yard space and all that. But uh, I got reminded last night after reading through some stuff and the only rescue that I give a damn about in the state of Georgia that I would even consider letting her go to um, is the fact that out of maybe 600 pit bulls, maybe one would get adopted. And with her already having some issues, her chances get down fast. And it's not her fault. She deserves a chance. And unfortunately, when you have a dog like this, someone that doesn't have experience could get in a lot of trouble. So, I guess she's going to be staying with me. I'm going to do what I can with her. Wish me luck, y'all. And I'll definitely try to keep y'all updated on her. Uh, we'll get some stuff on those scars and see if we can't get rid of them. Or at least diminish them some. It's a beautiful pet. It just breaks my heart what people can do to them. They don't deserve it. Like I said, punish the deed, not the breed. If you catch someone uh, fighting their dogs, I don't care if it's a pit bull, if it's a German Shepherd, if it's a mutt, <coughs> report them. It's not worth it for the animal. <laughs>